Hey guys, so like I said, I'm going to be making a video about my plant collection. So just to start, I'm going to show you my plants that are over here in this little plant stand. Okay guys, so this is called a rubber plant. And as you guys can see, it just looks like this. I'll get a little bit closer so you guys can see the leaves. But they're just like this. And they have a very like thick consistency and kind of feel like plasticky. And I just really, really, really like this plant. Um, I water it about once every week, I would say. Um, this one does like a little bit more water. Um, but you can kind of tell because once all of this soil is dry, I will just go ahead and water it. And like a lot of plants, it likes more sunlight. And so I just keep it right over here. And I do get a lot of sunlight in my room in general. So that's really, really, really nice. Moving on, this is my mother of millions plant. So it just looks like this. This guy is a very, 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 very tall and I might need to trim him soon. But um, pretty much this one grows little babies on its leaves. There's not a ton right now, um, but I will post something down below, like a picture or something so you can see. There's like a couple of leaves over there, but it's not focusing very well. But I think what I'm going to do with this one is just cut off, cut it off from like right over here and then plant this part into a different pot. But this one is a succulent, so it doesn't love to be overwatered, but does like the sun. And for this, like a lot of my other succulents, I'll spray it. Um, like once a week but then water it only when the soil is completely dry and for succulents it's really 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 important to have um, pots that have holes in them just so the water can drain and it doesn't end up drowning in its own water but so next off here's my sad looking English ivy so it got a little bit too much sun when I was home um, away for the weekend once it was closer to the window and a lot of its leaves burned off, so I got rid of them. And so this is kind of what's left. Um, hopefully I can kind of bring it back to life and make it look a little bit fuller. I actually just bought this plant today, but this is a jade plant. Um, I kind of just put it over here right now for this video, but I might um, put it back outside just so it can get more sun and can enjoy this nice weather. But I really, really, really have wanted a jade plant, and I think it is so cute. But this one is a succulent, so you should pretty much just water it and then let all the soil dry before you water it again, even though I said it wants to be in pots that have good drainage. This one does not, but I did put soil, like mixed the soil with rocks and then put like gravel rocks down below just so it can kind of help um, drain the water a little bit better. But this one's definitely gonna be in the sun and yeah, I really like it. Okay guys, I really, really, really like this plant. I think it's called a nerve plant. I'm not really a thousand percent sure, but I just love all of the colorful like polka dot type things and I just think it's a really beautiful plant. It does seem to burn a little bit. I think it might be because it hasn't gotten enough water or just might be too much in the sun but if anyone knows please let me know um, but I really really do enjoy this plant and the one thing I really like about this one is it really tells you when it needs to be watered so it will actually shrivel up um, which shows that it needs water so that's really cool okay guys so moving on this is my snake plant so I actually got this like a couple of months ago and it's just been doing so good it even has like a couple of babies so it, like self-propagated or germinated and developed this little guy over here and then another guy in the back but snake plants are just great 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 plants because you can kind of just leave them alone and they're very self-sufficient so I like that they're very independent okay guys next we have this crazy guy I'm just gonna push put him down here so you can kind of appreciate this but he just has a lot of little stripes and kind of reminds me of like a mini like jungle plant um, I probably need to repot this at some point because 
it's getting kind of out of hand in this teeny little, little pot, but I've had this for about like two years, I would say now, and it is just amazing. Um, I really feel like it's a more low maintenance plant, and yeah, I would say this one probably likes more like indirect sunlight, so yeah. Okay guys, so here is this one. This one has been literally growing like absolute crazy and I don't really know what it is, but this one I feel like I've been putting more in the shade and it's been doing really, really, really well. It hasn't been, none of the whatever leaves have been like burning or anything and I have been watering it about once a week or once every like five-ish days and yeah, it seems to be really happy and it's just kind of exploded and gone everywhere in the pot, which I love, but that just means I'll probably need to get a new pot soon. Next, I have this guy. I actually don't know the name of this plant. Um, I probably should, but I don't. So it has like pretty dark um, green leaves and then the back sides are purple, which I think is really pretty. Um, this one actually lives out in the living room, but I brought it in here for this video, but I have had this one for about a year and a half I would say but this one is pretty low maintenance as well um, it does also like start to shrivel up when it needs water so it's one of those plants that will tell you like what's up like hey mom I need water um, yeah my plants call me mom what's up um, but I really do like this one and yeah it's getting a little out of hand so I think I'm gonna actually like, trim a few of these like growths out and maybe like grow a new plant or propagate it um but we'll see okay guys next i have this mother succulent and all of its baby hens so i actually just bought this today along with the jade plant and a few other plants but this one is i really like it um it actually grows all of the hens on its own like you just have the mother plant and it loves to um, kind of like germinate and it'll start growing its hens like all around, which I think is really cool. Um, I, once I like took it out of the original pot, I noticed that this part was starting to like die a little bit over here, but I'm hoping that that's okay. Like, I don't know if you guys can see that. Kind of stresses me out, but I think it'll be okay because it has super like healthy and nice leaves here. But for this, I just poked holes in this metal um, pot thing and so it can drain well. Hey guys, next we have my pride and joy, this fiddly fig plant. And I am just so obsessed with this. I bought this a few months ago and when I bought it, the lady was like, just so you know, these are really hard to keep alive. Like people will a lot of the times kill them. You have to follow super like good plant techniques and it's still alive so I must be doing something kind of right. Okay guys, so next I'll just show you my succulents. So we will start off with this one. So I actually got this plant from my roommate. It was like a cutting of one of her plants and I think it's, so I actually got this plant from my roommate. It was one of um, the cuttings from one of her plants and I think it's just been doing really good. It started developing some new leaves over here and over here and also some um, roots, which means it's growing, which is a good thing. So next I have this guy, which I think is super, super cute. It's just a little succulent and I have like taken off some of the leaves here to propagate them and I'll show you guys my little propagation stations um, as I like to call them um, just to kind of see how I grow new succulents and yeah pretty much normal succulent care routine and it's been thriving so yeah. Okay guys next I have this little cactus baby it's like two little brothers or sisters and um, really easy to take care of. Cacti you can kind of leave for like even like a month and it'll be alive. Um, like succulents it likes nice sunlight, bright sunlight. And so I keep all of these little succulents and cacti on my window pane just so they can get the best possible lighting. 
Okay guys, so next I have another one of those plants that I got from my roommate. And if you can see, in the soil I have a bunch of the Mother of Millions babies to try and grow them. Um, I just stuck them in this pot um, and we will see how they do. Okay guys, I promise this is the last one from my roommate's plant, but here is this one. And then I also have a um, another plant that I got from my friend that I just kind of took cut out and let it grow some roots and then stuck it in here. I don't know how well it's going to grow, but um, hopefully it does okay. Okay guys, next I have this little guy. My professor actually gave this to me, like the professor that I do research for. It was one of the babies from her um, mother plant and it has been doing really well. I'm just really excited for it to start growing its own babies hopefully, um, but I love the little hair on it and I think it's super, super cute. Okay guys, so this is the other plant that I bought today with my jade plant and my mother and hen plant um, succulents. And so these are actually two separate succulents and I kind of potted them together. Um, this pot does have a little drainage hole and then I mixed the soil with gravel and then also put some gravel rocks on top just because I thought it looked cute. Um, but yeah, I'm really proud of myself for the way this is potted, so... And then with this plant and the plant I show you next, I'm planning on propagating them, which is kind of why I bought them. But um, I'm going to take the leaves off and try and grow new plants from it eventually. Okay guys, next up, just like the other succulents um, that I just showed you guys, this is the other two succulents that I bought and potted them together. And yeah, I'm really, really, really excited to propagate all of these four succulents and see kind of what happens. Okay guys, this is just another cutting from the uh, mom plant that one of my professors gave me and yeah, it's been super easy to take care of um, and I think it's been doing pretty well so I am really happy with this one. Okay guys, so next we just have this crazy succulent that's been literally growing, growing like crazy and I really, really, really love this pot that it's in and it's just been loving the sun and has been thriving and I'm going to actually try and propagate this too so I'll show you guys that towards the end of this video. So that's just like another look. Okay next I just have these three little cacti. I think they're really cute and they love their sun and they've just been doing super well. This one when I bought it was about the size of this but has just gotten super super long so I'm happy about that. Okay guys and then lastly of the window plants I have this little guy, um, it's been looking a little sad on the back side, but this side looks pretty good, so I'm okay with it. All right, guys, and this is my pathos, and it's just on my dresser, and it's getting kind of out of control. So I actually did take it and put it in water, like cut some parts out, and it started developing roots, so that's really, really good. So I might do that and grow new plants from it. Okay guys, so moving on to this crazy looking mess. This is my succulent growing station. So what I do is take leaves off of plants and let them callus over and then put them over soil and spray them daily. It's pretty simple. So some of these leaves are starting to grow babies, which makes me super happy. Um, so here's one of them. Um, it starts. It's starting to have a little succulent grow on it um, um, and then here's another one that's growing another baby on it and eventually I will pot these which is super 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 exciting and then they'll grow into hopefully full-grown succulents so yeah that's how I propagate them and so this is one propagation station I started another one because I cut out some new leaves so I'm gonna put my new leaves onto here I do already have one leaf that fell off of one of my new plants that I'm just gonna go ahead and start on this one okay and then next I just have a bunch of the babies from the mother of millions plant and these are hopefully gonna grow into plants as well these are kind of hard to see because they are very 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 tiny but they just kind of look like this and then here are some leaves and just some um, stems that I cut off to grow into new plants. So these are just some leaves and then I'm also going to wait until these start growing roots and go ahead and plant these as well. But I just keep them on a napkin and put them by the window for them to just dry completely. 